Welcome Brainers! Transferring WhatsApp data and messages between your devices can be a real challenge, and it's usually not possible to do without a factory data reset and potential data loss. Whether you're switching from Android to iPhone, or from iPhone to Android, and whether you're using regular WhatsApp or WhatsApp business, you have come to the right place. Today, we're going to demonstrate a seamless method to transfer WhatsApp data between devices, most importantly, without factory data resets and without losing any of your data. Let's dive right in. As the very first step, we should download and install the Dr. Phone Toolkit from the link provided at the end of the video description. I'm using a Windows PC, but this app works perfectly on Mac as well. Once installed, please launch the application. Now, connect your mobile devices to your PC using USB cables. You can connect both devices right away, or if you prefer, connect them one at a time, starting with the source device from which you want to transfer the WhatsApp data. To make it easier to follow along, I'll demonstrate the process one device at a time. I have connected my Android device from where I want to transfer WhatsApp data. In case you currently have WhatsApp on your iPhone and want to transfer it to an Android device, then you should connect the iPhone first. Once connecting make sure to allow any necessary permissions requested on your mobile device. Most importantly, enable USB debugging if it's an Android phone. Additionally, if you have any troubles, please ensure that your PC has the Android USB driver installed. What's really convenient about Dr. Phone is that it provides step-by-step -step guidance unique to your device, so you'll always know what to do next. Once the device has been successfully recognized, go ahead and select Toolbox from the left side navigation bar. As you can see from this screen, Dr. Phone offers much more than just WhatsApp transfers. It's indeed a powerful all-in-one mobile solution that empowers users to manage common tasks on Android and iPhone devices in an easy, fast, and secure manner. Dr. Phone is actively maintained, which means it supports a wide range of mobile OS versions, including iPhone 16 and iOS 18. Some key features of Dr. Phone include screen unlock, which can help if you've lost your screen lock pattern, PIN, or password, or if you've forgotten your Google or Apple account credentials. Virtual location is another interesting feature that allows you to simulate or fake your location on your iPhone or Android device. When you use this feature, apps, services, and even people tracking your GPS location will see the fake location instead of your actual location. And of course, there's the WhatsApp transfer feature, which is our focus today, so please go ahead and select WhatsApp transfer. Once you're on this screen, you can choose either regular WhatsApp or WhatsApp business based on your needs. The approach is the same for both, and I'm going to demonstrate with WhatsApp business, but please ensure you select the one you want to transfer. Please select the backup option. This will back up all your WhatsApp data to the computer. Additionally, you may need to adjust some device-specific settings on your mobile device, but don't worry, you will always get step-by-step -step instructions to follow based on your device model. As per the instructions, I should stay on this screen and select the scan button below. Please perform a backup to ensure that all the latest messages are included in this transfer process. Select Next. The backup to the computer has been completed successfully. It's now time to disconnect the source device and connect the target device. In my case, the target device is an iPhone, but for you, it could be either an Android or an iPhone. As always, be sure to allow any access requests on the mobile device and make any device-specific settings adjustments as instructed by Dr. Phone. Once the target device is recognized, please navigate to Toolbox and WhatsApp Transfer. Based on the backup you made in the previous step, choose either regular WhatsApp or WhatsApp Business. Once you reach the screen, select the Restore option. 
This will take the backup from the PC and transfer it to the target device you've connected. Go ahead and click on the little restore icon. If you have any existing messages on the target phone and want to retain them, you'll have the option to do so. In my case, I don't have any. Now, install WhatsApp Business on the target mobile device and complete the usual setup process with the same number. At this point, don't worry if you don't see all your messages, this is because we haven't yet initiated the actual restore process. Back on the PC, please confirm the prompt by clicking continue. Based on your backup size, it may take some time, so do not interrupt the process, and make sure the USB cable is undisturbed. The restore process has been completed successfully. Your mobile device may restart as part of this restore process. Once everything is completed, please open the WhatsApp app that was transferred. Great! I can now see all the messages from my Android device on my iPhone. I hope you found this helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more useful videos. Thanks for watching!